Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nextcloud on Cosmos Cloud. Now Nextcloud is your own storage environment and uh, Cosmos Cloud is to where you can host Docker containers securely with DDoS protection, proxying, rate limiting, user access, uh, just about everything to make uh, something secure. So, um, so I got some news. I'm starting up a home lab series and I'm uh, Anything that won't go in my home automation series will go in my home lab series, and I'm gonna be doing server software, everything like that. Anything to do with a home lab, I'm gonna try to cover. And uh, subscribe, comment, like if you like that. And also, um, a viewer asked me to make this video for Nextcloud, so and install it on Cosmos Cloud. So I'm gonna be doing that, and let's get started. So this is Nextcloud, regain control of your data, remote collaboration made easy, makes it to where you can share um, storage and everything and uh, it's a whole kind of like Dropbox system. So files, talking, Nextcloud groupware for calendar, and then the Office Suite, uh, LibreOffice. So uh it's productivity control community see it in action so you can see what they compare to limited storage office so about Co cosmos cloud is self-hosting your own cloud web services uh f fully secured setup out of the box uh, this is a Docker container that runs other Docker containers. It has strong security at Marketplace, reverse proxy, container management, and user management. And Smart Shield, Antibot, Anti DDoS, Single Sign On, Modern Security, Containers, and even in a LAN. So um, if you go to Smart Shield, You'll see what is Smart Shield, Dynamic Rate Limiting, Adaptive Actions, User Bands and Strikes, Global Request Control, User Based Metrics, Privileged Access, Case Model po Policies. So, um, so it gives you a little chart of a malicious mobile app that's on your phone, and then you get straight to your other local network. With Co Cosmos Cloud, it protects your network. It makes it to where you can't get in there uh, if you have isolation going on. And then uh, here's another example. And let's encrypt. And then the installation is really simple. I did a video on installing this completely, so it'll be linked down in the description. So I'm going to start with a fresh install of Cosmos Cloud. So we're going to go to the home. We're going to see no apps right here. And then we're going to go to market and we're going to type in the search box next and then it's going to come up with next cloud and this is using the Linux server next cloud uh, docker container so I'm going to press n install okay it's going to set the service name as next cloud it's going to set the path to data user next cloud data uh, US arming and then uh, it's going to set the host name. It's going to set some environment variables. And for the MySQL or the MariaDB. And then it's going to set a volume at varlib MySQL. So now we're going to say next. And then it's going to uh, put a JSON. And then it's going to say all the services that will be starting. So now we're going to say create up here. And then it's going to create it. It's going to pull the Docker container. So it's going to extract it. It's going to pull it. And it's pulling off of the um, the next cloud Linux server. So once this is done, it's going to be up and running. It 
So now it's done, service created up here, and we're gonna refresh. So, okay, now it's back up. Okay, we're gonna close this out. We're gonna go to home right here, and then you're gonna see Nextcloud, it is up. So now we're going to go and um, we're gonna see that it did create a URL over here. Created a URL, so now you can go in here, you can see that it's going to Nextcloud, the surf app, and then, um, Here's a serve app. Okay, now it's going to, it's gonna say next stat cloud is the image. It's gonna auto update the image. Here's the logs. Now the Docker. It's set environment variables. It's set up 80 is the port. And then it's got uh, storage right here. This is binding to USR Nextcloud data, and then it's going to set a volume Nextcloud config right here. Okay, now we should be able to go to the IP now. So we're going to go down here to URLs right here. Okay, now it's going to ask us to create an admin account. I'm going to create one. Okay, you type in your username, you type in your password. And then you press the install button right here. It's setting up all the configurations and everything, so this can take a little bit. Okay, once you get the 400 error, that's no big deal. You can go over to here. You can put it as HTTPS because it's a self-signed certificate. It's gonna suggest you to install the recommended apps right here. You can skip or install. You can just go ahead and install. It'll go through them and install them. because It's installing the calendar. It's installing the contacts, the mail, the Nextcloud office for collaborating with documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and then it's going to set up notes and then talk. This will take a bit to install because these are a lot of apps to install. So now it's almost done. Talk is the last one. Okay, now you're gonna get the 400 error again. So you're gonna go over here, just put HTTPS on it. Okay, now, once you have it up and running, it's gonna give you a nice video right here. And you can exit out of that and you'll see files right here. You'll see mentions, important mail, and then upcoming events. So I just showed you step-by-step -step on how to get Nextcloud running on Cosmos Cloud. This is a more secure uh, container environment. It makes it to where you can rate limit, DDoS protection, user management, everything. It's has a proxy built in too. So, uh, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel. And also, uh, if you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community. I started a Discord on there. So uh, just put it in the support section under YouTube form. And then under YouTube form, you can also suggest videos too in the suggestions form. And um, stay tuned for more.